Okay, let's write a program that asks a user to type in a number and then our program will return that number plus one. So if the user types in three, the program will spit out four. Sounds simple. Let's give it a shot. So it says, welcome, please enter a number. We will accept that number in a variable called number. So number equals gets dot chomp. We will then say, thanks, your new and improved number is, and then we will put number plus one. Let's see what happens when we try this out. So it says, welcome, please enter a number. I will type in the number nine. And instead of getting the expected 10, we get, thanks, your new and improved number is, and then an error message. Now, the first thing you always want to look at when examining an error message is which line is the error taking place on. The error is taking place on line four. Now, what is the error message? It says in plus no implicit conversion of integer into string. Now, if you've never seen that error message before, it is very difficult to understand what it's talking about. But let me show you what it means. Let me take this code and for now, take it out. I'm saving it. We'll copy it back later. Let me show you another way we can get this error message. What happens if we try to take a string and add a number to it? So we're going to add one to the string hello. We get this very error message. It says there's an error taking place on line one, in plus no implicit conversion of integer into string. So that error message takes place when you try to mix together this string and a number. It's saying we can't do such a thing. Now let's change this string to be 20. What happens when we run it now? We get the same error message because even though as a human, when we look at the string that says 20, to us it looks like a number. In reality, Ruby and the computer treat it as a string. It's just the same as letters. It's just characters. Those characters happen to be numerical. But that is a class of string. And you cannot add a class of integer to a class of string. Now, let's look at something else. We're going to say, type in anything. And we'll take a variable called anything and store in there whatever the user types in using gets.chomp. Then let's look at the class of anything. In the previous video, we introduced the class method. Let's see what happens. So it says type in anything, and I'll say hello. And the terminal says that is a string. Awesome. That's what we expected. Let's do something else. This time, I'm going to type in the number 100. What is going to happen when I hit enter? What is the class of this 100? You may have thought that it would be an integer. However, it's a string. Why is it a string? Why is this 100 a string and not an integer? To drive this home a little bit more, after we print the anything.class, we're going to do the p anything. Let's try this again. This time we'll do 55. And now in the terminal, it says that it's a class. And then when the line from line four of p anything gets run, it prints 55 in quotes, indeed underscoring that this 55 is a string. The reason for this is a simple but arbitrary rule that whenever you use gets.chomp, Whatever the user types in, whether it is characters from the alphabet or numerical characters, if you get it through gets.chomp, the computer always views it as a string. So now, going back to our original code, when it says, welcome, please enter a number, and we enter 100, and on line four, it tries to add the number one to our number. Since our number is actually a string because it was obtained via gets.chomp, we get the error message 
of no implicit conversion of integer into string, because the 100 that the user entered is actually a string, and we're trying to add an integer to a string, which gives us this error message. So how do we deal with this conundrum? Now, one way to deal with it, which is probably the easiest way to deal with it, is to use another built-in Ruby method. There is a method called two underscore i that converts a string into an integer. Let me demonstrate. Let us take a variable called thing, and we will put inside of it a string containing a seven. If we print thing.class, we will see that indeed it is a string. But let's do this. Let's make a variable called number that is thing dot two underscore i and print number dot class. Let's go through this one line at a time. Line number one creates the thing variable containing the string seven. Line number two creates a new variable called number, which stores within it thing converted into an integer. When we print this number.class, we will see that indeed we have an integer. So the two underscore i method is a method that takes a string and then gives you an integer version of that string. So going back to our original example, if on line four, instead of saying puts number plus one, we say puts number dot two underscore i plus one, what we are attempting to do here is not adding one to what the user typed in, because what the user typed in is a string. We cannot add an integer to a string. However, we're going to add one to the integer version of what the user typed in. So let's try this now. Now, if I type in 99, it works. It says, thanks, your new and improved number is 100. Because again, on line four, number.2i took the 99 string, converted it into a 99 integer. We then add one to that 99 integer, which we could do because you could add one integer to another integer. And then the terminal prints out 100.